What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Speedy. I was supposed to take these drumsticks outside to my charcoal grill in the backyard but it's been raining on and off today and I'm like you know what yeah with my luck as soon as the charcoals turn white it'd be a baby hurricane out here. <laughs> you know I get this question asked all the time especially when I go into establishments you know where I'm you know, getting repairs done and they they're like hey you know this is cooking with Doug and they're like oh yeah we YouTube channel blah 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 and the number one question always comes up what's my favorite thing to make in the air fryer and I say I oh my, my response is always air fried baked chicken and it's almost the reaction I get out of it is like that's it um, almost it's like a little bit underwhelming, but I tell them, I was like, unless you try it, you won't know what I'm talking about. So guys, we're going to make some air fryer baked drumsticks. I got my rack in the lower position. So we got five drumsticks in there, by the way, if you wanted to know. And let me show you real quick how I seasoned it. I used some olive oil and I used... Some of this kicking chicken. This is some good seasoning, guys. Link will be in the description. I got this at Sam's, and your local supermarket should have this. And I added some salt to um, to the kicking chicken seasoning because I noticed when I use it, it just needs a tad bit more salt. So that's all I did. And I let this marinate overnight, and here we are. Let's get it closed. Now, I'm telling you guys, the great thing about this air fried baked chicken it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to have nice color. It's going to have a char. It's going to have a nice little crunch to it. We didn't, you notice we didn't use any eggs or any flour or anything like that. It's going to be perfect, guys. Some of you already know this. We're going to bump it to 400. I'm going to go uh, 24 minutes, like 12 minutes each side. That sounds right. All right, I'll be back in 12. And by the way, I've never made my famous air fried baked chicken in the Ninja Speedy before. So in my other air fries like my Kasori or my Gourmia, it would take 24 minutes. So if it takes faster, it's because this machine is just that much more powerful, which could be the case. 12 minutes have passed. We're going to turn them over. Look at that, guys. Just 12 minutes in. No egg wash, no flour. Oh, I forgot to tell you, six minutes in on the first side, I hit it with some um, oil from my Evo oil sprayer. Link will be in the description. And when I turned it over just now, I hit that other side with some oil as well. Just to keep it moist. You don't have to do that. That's flavor, baby. All right, guys, this is 16 minutes in. I'm going to do a temp check, but these are looking done. This could be you, though. Oh, yeah. It said 179. So all we did is 12 minutes on one side and 4 minutes on the other at 400. All right, guys. Paired it with some seasoned fries. They're just Walmart fries that I put my own seasoning on. But this could be you. Paper towel time. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. Okay, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. Means it's time to eat. Let's analyze. You see it. No egg wash, no flour. Let's have a bite. You got it? All right. Mmm. That's too good, guys. Moist. Flavorful. It's just good. Mmm. It's too good. I didn't have sriracha ketchup this time. I do have some in my refrigerator, but I'm just using ketchup today. 
You got it? Mmm. Very good. See that? You take a bite. You got it? Mmm. So juicy, guys. So good. Mm mm mm. Some of y'all wanted some skin. You got it? Get that. Mmm. What else can I say? Fantastic. Guys, that was super easy, super fun, maximum flavor. If you've not tried this out, because, you know, people have been doing this in the air fryer for years. If you've not tried it, try it out. You will be amazed of the crunch of the chicken, the flavor, the moistness, all of that. By just putting three ingredients on there. Or less. Right? So, definitely try this out. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description to the Ninja Speedy because I keep telling you guys over and over, for those who don't have it yet, this machine is absolutely awesome. So click the link, check out all what it could do because it could do way more than air fryer, right? Um, check it out, pick one up for yourself or someone you love that loves kitchen gadgets, absolutely. I'll also pin to the comments my Ninja Speedy playlist with over 40 Ninja Speedy videos of mine for you to choose, on, choose from, which is just completely awesome. So definitely check that out as well. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.